on their behalf, I'm going to ask uh, Party, uh, Secretary General, Honorable Edwin Sipuna, to say something. Thank you, Jacob. Vijana Uwe. Vijana Ria. Uh, Your Excellency, you just surprised me. I wasn't expecting to speak because it is usually good that we also allow these young voices to have the stage that we have. And uh, I just wanted to comment on two things. Your Excellency, first of all, I want to advise these young people that there is nobody who is going to invite you to do anything. Uh, there's a story that uh, Jacom doesn't like me telling again about how he became Secretary General. There was somebody there, and he was asleep. And I decided to go there and declare myself as a SGO party. <laughs> so, in these constituencies, you have seen people who have decided that they want to, to go. And you know for a fact that without ODM and without the support of Baba, they are not going to come back. What you should be doing now, because as the SG I'm seated there, you should be introducing me to the acting member of parliament for Langata. Who is there? Akuwati. <laughs> Senator Kisumu hiko hapa? Yuko hapa? Hey, hiyo ndiyo unatakana unasema? Unasema baba kama huu mtu ameshindwa na kazi mini kwa hapi? Niko hapa. Sawa sawa. Jambo la pili. Your Excellency as you are aware, we in the minority do not support the amendments to the standing orders that were brought to allow cabinet secretaries to come to the floor of the house. And we do not just object with our mouth. We objected during the debate uh, for the amendments of the standing orders and after we were defeated because as you know we in the Azimio side will come with arguments and points and alternatives but those other guys just come with numbers they just say okay give Sifuna his five minutes to talk at the end of the day we know he doesn't have the numbers so we were voted outvoted even during that amendment to the standing orders but we proceeded to go to court your excellency that court uh, case is going to be ruled on the 23rd of October, which is a, a few weeks from now, a few days from now. We want the High Court to pronounce itself because in our view, they took a shortcut to amend the Constitution to allow members of the Cabinet to sit uh, in Parliament. So, once that decision is made, we want the courts to pronounce themselves and we are hoping that in this particular case the court will stand to defend the Constitution. Other than that, Your Excellency, because of time, I really don't have anything else to say. I want to encourage you, young people, that this journey that you have started, if you are calling yourself leaders, you must show yourself as leaders. You must behave like leaders. I have had an opportunity to meet some of you. Ikenyi, who was speaking here, they came to see me in parliament. And I gave you a warning that you should give to these other uh, colleagues of yours. Tell them that if you are genuine people in the journey of leadership, I am telling you, you will succeed. But kama ni mradi, najua pia sisi tunachoranga hizi mradi, Hey. Kama ni mradi utajulikana tu hui ni mradi But if you are serious There are people here who are willing to support Like me personally I am willing to support <laughs> Young people who are genuine In uh, growing themselves as leaders To involve themselves in the political leadership Of this country because we also started like you And we were supported as well We are not here on our own volition Personally it has been Baba who has held my hand All this time by identifying <laughs> Talent You should be able to be uh, identified as a talent, as a serious person who wants to grow in the journey of leadership and we will support you. I thank you, Your Excellency. I don't want to say anything else, but everything that has been said about Parliament does not involve or include Azimio leaders. Thank you. So you've heard it now from the horse's mouth. Now there are some questions we came, some actually was same question uh, asked twice um, this one of uh, betrayal 